Alright, this is my Blaze King 302 that I replaced my vulcanizing vulcanizer of the Performer stove with. And uh, so it was midnight when we, uh, probably about midnight when I last filled it here. I got a couple cracks in mine on the side that I got to weld in the spring. But the, the thing that's really nice about the stove that the 80s vintage stuff had is all the stuff on the side here is where air pushes through where my old one it just came up the back so you had a lot of useful you get a lot more useful heat coming out of here go get the laser so we could temp it and uh so when you have a, any type of fire in here it pushes out heat out the vents on the side right here and uh you get a lot of useful heat for longer than some of the newer stove that's why these vintage models are awesome well uh i was uh watching tv we watch a lot of diy and and history and uh Nat Geo and stuff and uh thanks buddy and they had this on building Alaska they wheeled the stove in here and uh it's awesome so let's see on the inside here I'm showing 180 my top of my stove's a little dirty because we boil water so this morning like seven hours later it's uh, still 125 degrees so you could uh definitely use it back up dude and uh we get the, you know, I have, it's a little messy. When, when I'm done burning here, I'll re-oil the whole stove up and clean the top off. But I put cinnamon in our water here so it smells good. And then we have a scenty candle and stuff like that. But this is an old Blaze King. It's an 80s model. It's a 302. And this thing is awesome. You could put a lot of uh, wood in here. And it'll last a long time. And with the damper down and stuff like that. But our old drafty farmhouse we like to keep it a little warmer here so right now this morning we got up at, at 62 and it was 10 out last night i think maybe even nine so this sucker's bad to the bone but now i'm going to clean it out and restock this thing so the house gets good because the wife uh, and the kids like it a little warm in here so thank you very much one thing about the blaze king here is that the, the vent Definitely likes to stay clean. In the back there, you gotta keep that clean at all times. Tilt the right, tilt the right. That's all right. So I got the Blaze King kicking already here, and it's got useful heat putting out of it real quick with a light load on it. So you can see it coming up here. Do do do. I mean, this is right in one of the ports. I got a big dog nose in our face here because uh, yeah, he's one of our puppies. So right off the bat here, this this old design is awesome with the fire with the the vent going around your fire. So I'm already at 120 coming out of here, and there's a light fire on it. It'll, I've had this pegged out, you know, real quick once the fire gets going and stuff. But look at that, 140. You could, you could almost cook stuff with that real quick right here, just from your, your ports and stuff. So that's pumping right into my house. Just hold it. And we got a light load, still not even caught all the way. And that's what's awesome about this thing when you clear it out. It has a huge basement. These old designs are freaking awesome. They're worth their weight in gold. So uh, any questions, let us know here. You know, we're going to be building a lot of stuff outside. We picked up a little acreage, so we're going to be doing greenhouses, chicken coops. There's a lot to come on 
come on so take a subscription you know subscribe to our page and thanks guys leave questions and stuff if you got them